Diamond Divas. This is Wanda from Wanda's Work Basket uh, with a new Diamond Art Club painting for you. This is called Conservatory House by David McLean. It is a big painting. It is a 98 by 70 and you can tell it's a square kit by the square on the kit. Don't forget there's always a 10% off of your next purchase on every box and inside on the the wrapper, um, the uh, instruction thing that comes in there, and if you'd like to get a little more off, if you've never purchased from Diamond Art Club before, check out the link down below, my affiliate link, for 15% off of your first purchase from Diamond Art Club. Let's see. Everything you need is included in the kits, and some stuff just for fun. All right, dump it out here. <clears throat> you get a little sticker first. In the kit, I'm trying to so I can see the color better here. Isn't that gorgeous? That will be a picture of the finished painting. I use the thumbnails uh, for my inventory sheets, but you can use them on the end of the box. You can make a um, a magnet out of it, or you can make, um, um, oh geez, a cover minder out of it. To make a magnet out of it, what you do is, you know how some companies send you those magnets, the, the little thin magnets as advertising plates? You can just stick the sticker right over top of it and cut it to size, and you have a magnet. So that's another nice way to use those things. You get a kit in each one with everything you need and a couple fun things that you don't need in here as well. However, everything is useful. Come on. All right, in every kit you get a bag of baggies to help you kit up or to help um, take care of any stray loose diamonds. You get, for square kits, you get a Diamond Art Club square tweezers, very pointy tweezers with a protective cover over it. This is a white, one of the white trays. Sometimes you get a clear tray with gold flecks in it. It has a stopper that is removable on the end. I really like that. It comes with a random color pen and squishy. It comes with two multiplacers, a four and a seven multiplacer. It comes with two hearts of pink wax. Those are the basics that everyone needs to work up their kit. Now, the extras are a little cover minder, a magnet on the back. If you don't use cover minders, that's okay. You can always put them on your fridge. You betcha, beautiful. It holds the, the, um, the plastic back. And you get some washi tape. And people put washi tape along the edges of their canvas to get a nice, straight edge to bump your gems up against. It also prevents any dust and dander from sticking to the edges of the painting. And you can section off your your clear plastic uh, cover if you'd like to do that with it as well. I use them in my planners and uh, calendar pages and you know, decorate my art journals and things and stuff with it. So if you want to see other ways of using washi tape see my other videos on the playlist. All right, so that's the kit. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's get into this beautiful canvas. Here we go. I'm going to roll it up the opposite way. Ooh, wait till you see this one. I love landscapes. I love flowers. I love nature. I love animals and beautiful, beautiful women. Beautiful, beautiful people. So, you will find beautiful canvases on my site. And some Snoopy Peanuts characters as well from different licensed places, you will find, 
<laughs> so if you're looking for beautiful paintings, I have a lot to recommend for you. You get a thank you sheet with 20% off of your first purchase on the app. If you'd like to download the app, it has more discounts in here, how-tos, and tips. And, ooh, this one is two different 69 colors. Are you serious? That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. The ones, the numbers under 150, 1, 2, 3, 4, are going to be the Aurora Borealis drills. Let me show you, as close as I can get, the thumbnail of this gorgeous, gorgeous painting. It's got like an evening look to it, like a sunset look, and a Tudor type of, um, uh, like an English garden type house, a Tudor house, with a gazebo in it, a front gate, lots of gardens, a red sky. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so awesome. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. Well, let's look at this canvas. Let's look at this awesome canvas, shall we, before we get into the brick of drills. Now, I can't show it all to you in one sitting, so I'm going to show you the bottom half and then the top half. You have all kinds of ornamental grasses and flowers. You have a brick fencing across the front. You have a basket of flowers on top of that fencing. And right above that, if you can see that, you have a white uh, a white metal patio set and a light up here. Oh my gosh, I never even saw this. Oh my gosh, okay. There is a number 4023 on the gate. I never noticed that. And look, there's a brown lab and puppies down here. Do you see that? There's a brown lab and a couple puppies down there. Oh my gosh, how freaking adorable. Oh, I'm in love. I am so in love with this. Oh my gosh. And more grasses, more uh, brickwork, and the iron gate across the front. And you have a garden walk. Um, you have a path that really draws the eye around the painting. Wow. All right, now I'm going to show you the conservatory building at the top. I'm hoping you can see all of it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the fire in that. You have some lamps here. You can see the, the metal patio furniture real well. It has a pink roof even. The reflection of light on the roof makes it look pink. You've got an old growth, strong tree here. You've got fiery fall color leaves on it. You've got shrubbery in the back in front of the, the house. You've got window boxes of flowers on the house. You have a beautiful chimney around front door with blue walkway entering the, the, the house. And here's the conservatory on this end. You can imagine it to be a, a music conservatory, an art room, a greenhouse. You have a formal walkway leading up to it. You have some lamps in front of it and another fiery fall tree. You have geese flying through the evening air. I, I love landscapes. You can get lost in these paintings. When you work on them, you get lost in the colors. It's just so delicious. It's therapy. It's color therapy. It's just amazing. And then you imagine yourself in these places. You put yourself in the conservatory painting a painting with the light that's coming in. Put yourself in the living room by the fireplace in the house. Put yourself out on the patio, the iron patio, having a picnic outside. Can you smell the flowers? And can you pet the puppies <laughs> that are on the front? Oh my gosh! This is just so, so, so beautiful. Oh man! The past several paintings by Diamond Art Club, the landscapes have been absolutely incredible. Stunning, breathtaking, at least in my humble opinion, whatever that's worth. The drills have the name of the painting and their inventory number on it. Whoa, look at this brick of drills. 
what I like to do with these sheets, and again, these sheets have individual stickers uh, to help you kit up that you can put on your baggies or containers. Conservatory House by Don McLean has a start and end date. You can add that to it. And the details on the bottom, these are the main stickers that you get. I didn't tell you that um, before. I like to put them, I like to put them in the bottom of the a drill brick. <laughs> Now I'm going to try to find the ABs and pull them out. Yep, there's one. Trying not to slice through the actual baggie. That way we can find them separately. Oh, I think I see another one. Yep, orange. Ooh, we have a pink so far, a fuchsia pink. We have um, a yellow orange. Need two more. We need a tan and a white. White. There's the white. <laughs> Usually, always have some white. And there's a second one here. It's white. Second white. They're both the same color. Yes, they are. And now we need a gray, a light gray. Something to that effect. Maybe it's a light blue. Here it is. Here's a taupe. Here we go. Just be sure I don't cut into the baggie and have them spilling everywhere. All right, we'll go over them in a moment. Here's the drill trains. And let me get them going on the right way here. Bright orange. Dark greens. Rosy pink. More greens. More dark browns. That looks like a base color. The dark brown is the base color. Crinkle alert here. Crinkle alert, crinkle alert. Come on, you. 69 colors. This is beating the record that I've seen here. That right side up? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, now they're not situated again. Huh. There you go. Green, purple, brown. Pink. Greens. There's a brilliant yellow. Purples. Ooh, I love those lavender purples. Beautiful. Some chartreuse. Pink. Some uh, brick colors. This one was packed well. So it would have to be, huh? Let's see. You have your three tens. And your 938s. the deep dark browns, the mud browns. That's probably part of the puppies. Grays. Look at that brilliant orange. That's got to be in the sky. Grays and green and browns. I gotcha. Okay. Beautiful purple, pink, green, yellow, like a, a burgundy red, even uh, like a purpley red. Oh, I love that. That's like my favorite nail polish color. 814 is like my favorite nail polish color. Okay. There we go. One of the drills. On the drill train. I'm not going to name all the numbers and the color names because 
and have eyes. You can stop the video if you'd like and check out any number that you, if you're particularly interested in. And I can't read them upside down, <laughs> backwards. I cannot read them in my screen. It's too small, even with my glasses on. This is the last train before we get to the Aurora Borealis. Alrighty. Put this back up. I'm never getting back in the same way. I just don't. They get really fat. Okay, off to the slide with you. Now let's see where the one, two, three, and fours go. So there's two of the white packets. They um, let me see. Let me put them in the num number order so I can get them right. Okay. One oh nine is a gray. That's a number one. What's the number? One? Whoop, the four. The fours are in the ironwork and in the uh, window sills, and there's some in the conservatory. Number one is like a greenish. It's probably on the other side of it. Um, so I found the fours. Oh, number one is right along the walkway back here. It's in the formal. Oof, it's in the formal stonework here. Like I said, the number fours are in the conservatory area. Oh, let's see what other numbers. Do I find a one and a three? Okay, threes are in some of the orange, orangey flowers here. And in the orange work in here. Twos the, are all over the pink in the roofing here. That's awesome. They don't have any that I can see in the red of the tree. And that's what I would do. Okay, so here's the, I showed you the, that one, the gray one. Here's 132, the sparkly yellow-orange. 111 is this fuchsia color. And then we have the white ABs. So let's look, let's look down in the second bottom half of this. See what we can see. All right. All right. There's some threes in the flowers at the very bottom, the oranges, and in the um, the box, the uh, the bouquet on top of the fence. Yep, they're in the red, they're in the flowers here, the oranges. I'm going to replace one of the reds with some, with some ABs, because I think that needs to be in this, in the flaming trees as well. More threes in the, the flower work, the flowers in here. So that is the Conservatory by David McLean. Thank you for going along on this ride with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that YouTube uh, can recommend my channel to other diamond painters who might want to see these gorgeous Diamond Art Club kits and many other kits. Also, um, also for happy planner planning videos, for which I'm coming up with and starting a, a whole new uh, section playlist on those, and junk journaling, and kind of cross stitch, and all kinds of crafts coming up soon as well will be more what to do with your leftover diamonds there'll be something on um, ergonomic things so that you you give your hands and your back a break while you're doing these giant paintings and what else oh um, a comparison of diamond painting sealers things that call themselves diamond painting sealers so we'll take a look at some of those on the market as well all right so 
see you around soon. Don't forget to click the little bell too so you're, you know when our lives are coming up, which are Tuesday nights from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Tuesday nights, Eastern Standard Time. So I look forward to seeing you again soon, divas. Bye.